Hey guys, what's up? You're watching T-Bones Tech. In this video, I'm going to be explaining megapixels. Now, this video is part of my Photography Explained video series. If you want to become a better photographer and take much better pictures for absolutely free, make sure to watch every video of my Photography Explained video series. You can click it right here. That'll send you to the first video where I just talk about what the Photography Explained video series is about. And then from there, you can watch all the videos, Aperture Explained, Shutter Speed Explained, Depth of Field Explained, and so on. So if you're interested in watching that, make sure to click the screen right here. Now back to the original video. Now without pixels, you wouldn't be seeing me on your screen right now. Pixels are what display millions of different colors on your LCD screen. So when you're looking at me on your screen right now, you're looking at approximately 2 million pixels. The resolution that this video is being recorded in is 1920 by 1080. So when you multiply those two together, you get around 2 million pixels. Now the mega in megapixel stands for million pixels. The Canon Rebel T3i has a resolution of 5184 by 3456. Now if you multiply those two together, you get around 7,900,000 pixels, which isn't quite 18 million pixels. So basically Canon just rounds up and says that it's 18 megapixels when really it's not. Now it is only 90,000 pixels away from being 18 megapixels, but keep that in mind, most cameras aren't quite the resolution they claim to be. Usually they just round up. Now something that needs explaining is camera sensor size. Now the sensor of your camera is one of the most important elements of photography. Now an old iPhone 4 has an extremely small sensor. Now on this old iPhone 4, there's approximately 5 million pixels in this teeny teeny camera. And all you can see from the front is just the lens. The sensor is considerably smaller. So there's 8 million pixels all trying to absorb light in a small area. And if you're shooting at a location where there's not a lot of available light, that means that you're going to have very noisy images. That's one of the major reasons why DSLRs are much better than iPhones and why full frame cameras are much better than their younger brothers with APS-C size sensors in them. Because the small little APS-C size sensors don't absorb enough light, so your sensor is making more inaccurate guesses and the image quality just isn't there. Now don't get me wrong, you can still take pretty good pictures with an iPhone 4 and you can also take very good pictures with a point and shoot camera and you can also take very good pictures with an APS-C size sensor camera. But full frame cameras are the best because their sensor is much, much bigger than all the other cameras out there. Now full frame isn't the biggest sensor size of cameras out there. There are cameras that are bigger. If you want me to go in depth into cameras that have bigger sensors than full frame cameras, we Leave me a comment down below, I'll try to answer it in another video. I'm also going to be talking briefly about HTC One's Ultra Pixel. I just want to say, HTC's Ultra Pixel is a complete joke. There's absolutely nothing ultra about their pixels. It's just the megapixel. It is just the megapixel of a slightly bigger sensor, so each pixel is going to absorb a little bit more light, so you're going to be able to take better images. So that's all I got for you guys in this video. If you have any questions about this video, make sure to leave a comment down below. Hopefully I covered anything, but if there's anything that you still have a question about, I'll make sure to answer it in the comments down below. So just leave me a comment and I will try to respond to it as fast as I can. Also, I got new lighting and a microphone. So if you could give me a thumbs up for that down below, that'd be pretty awesome. So thank you guys for watching this video and I'll catch you guys in the next one.